Guys, how's it going? Kit Fox Flyer here. There's James. This is James, my boy. James got his own channel. He's gonna do a video for it today. So James is gonna tell us what do you got? What's wrong with your sled, James? When you're, is it hard to steer? Yeah. So what we can do is we we what do we do? We took the skis off the sled right there, and we're gonna do a little weld build up on them right along here. The problem is this one here is a little too short to go in there. So what I'm gonna do is James will take the camera here, and I'm gonna clamp this down. You see, I'll clamp that down with a pair of welding clamps here. And what I propose I'll do is I, I just like to get that tucked inside of there a little bit. So we had a hammer somewhere. James, where did that hammer go that you just had? And he's got the hammer. And I'm going to light the torch up. Now, this is an acetylene torch. Acetylene and oxygen is what fuels it. Now, ready? It's pretty cool. Whoa, look at that. Turn it on until the smoke goes away. Feed in oxygen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up this piece of steel here. I believe it's hot rolled steel. And I'm going to take that hammer from you, James. So that 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 uh, piece of rod's going to turn cherry pretty quickly. Okay, yeah. so that's be good enough. So we'll just turn the torch off. Make sure it's off. Now watch this. If I just tap that down the side there, there, that that should be good. I could have just tack welded on there, but you know what? Ow! Just just teasing. Anyway, that's hot. You know how hot that is? Probably around. 1500 degrees right now. Woo! I have to put a bit of temper in that thing there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we will get some welding rod out. We'll do a little weld build up on top of each of these here. Just a little bit there. We don't want to have too much, but too hard to steer. And that will get James turning better again. What do you think, James? Oh, here we are. I got a welded electrode. See this here? The number on it is a 6013. That'll be good. General purpose, flat position. Actually, I think it's all position, this one here. And 60,000 PSI tensile strength. Put my welding helmet on. I don't have gloves on, but what I'm going to do is we're going to run a test speed right here. And just see, we want a kind of a cold beat in this one. So let me just see. Are you guys ready? Cover up your lens here. If you get him get it closer, James, you'll see as well. Okay. Now, let me just chip off the slag right there. there. Now, let's have a look at that weld. That weld there, height-wise, it's not too bad. I would, it's not a bad little weld. It's a little bit on the cold side, and I like to get it, keep it cold, maybe a tad colder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the welder. It might be a little harder to get it going, but let's turn it down to 60 amps. Because remember, we want to build up uh, the weld as high as possible. Strength isn't a big issue here. Thank you. Okay, I've now got the ampers turned down to 60 amps. James, come on over here and bring that welding shield up there. Now you see I'm going to strike an arc right in beside here. You come up really close here, James, and just see if we can get this seat to even start. There. This is a little bit colder. This is even a nice little high bead there. Can you see that good through that lens, James? Yep. Okay, this is going to stop there. There, now. If you look through there carefully, there. There. Now look at that little tiny bead there. Now if you look at that from the cross angle, you see that? It's a lot, see that? It's a lot narrower. See, this one's a, it's a little bit narrower and it's a lot higher. That is probably going to work pretty good. And I think if we do put a couple beads like that down your ski, we're going to be in pretty good shape. So now what we all have to do is we have to determine where to put the beads. So I think what we'll do is if you look at the center of the ski is right there. There's a center right there, okay? So I would say that we, the ski is pushing down right by the spring right there. So we want to probably put the weld somewhere on there, right in that area there. And probably it's pushing down back here. So somewhere probably back here too, right in that area there. So I'm going to just attempt to do a couple welds along there. We'll see how it works. Okay. Right now, hopefully we have a good ground these skis here. Yep, we seem to. So ready? Where the first are the 60 amps?
Just a nice little kitty little coal beetle on there. Let's stop right there. Let me just straighten that rod out there a little bit. Okay. You ready? Let's do it again. You ready? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll just stop that right there. Now, while you got the camera rolling, I'll just chip a bit of that slide off there. There. There, now if you take a look there, you'll see how that's... You can see that there? It's elevated up a little bit there. We could probably get a little bit more beetle on there. Get a little bit more beetle on there. You see it's a little bit higher there. So I'll get another rod here. Another 6013 rod. And we'll try it. Actually, I gotta put a bit more back here, so I'll do a little bit of the back here. You ready to go? Come on, B. Stop with this one. It is going to be very stubborn. This rod doesn't want to get welded. There you go. Okay. Let's stop right there. This is the second layer on top of this one here. It's pretty high. Is it? Okay, keep keep the lens down. I'm going to do one more right here. I'll probably just jump a little bit more again. How high do you want them? Uh, you know what? Probably anything will help. I'm not even sure. Eighth of an inch, maybe the thickness of the rod, which is about what that is. So let me go back to this one here now. I will start. We'll do a couple. I got enough rods to do one more little pass rate on this one here. So let's do that one next. Ready? Cover your eyes. Okay, just stop there for a second and we'll take a break while we change the rods here. Okay guys, we're back. I just welded up one bead overlapping on top of the, not overlapping, but on top of each other there. We'll chip it off there. There, this one here. No. Oh. If you see, that has elevated that up just a little bit higher than it was. Now, I probably could take a grinder and grind it down a little bit there, but you know what? I don't know if it's going to make a whole lot of difference. Should we grind it or just try it the way it is? James, what do you think? Try it the way it is. Okay, so listen. Let's see. Let's see. What we could do is we could put these skis back on this sled and try it out. Okay, guys. We're back outside, beautiful out today. Get the ski. So I just gotta hold the ski up to the ski leg there. And hopefully I don't need a hammer because I didn't bring one out with me. So, well, maybe I'm gonna need a should have bushing in. There we go. Now, hopefully I'll be able to feel for a little hole in there. I can't see a darn thing in there. <laughs> it's not even all the way up. Nope. Well, there's a problem. I should have brought out a punch with me there. Is that lined up, James? Looks pretty... Nope. Yep. There we go. There. Just need Junior to give us a little hand there. So I got that bolt through there. And what I'll do is I'll put back on there. I got a nut over here. 
I'll put a, a washer on. And this isn't the way that I designed this. This is the way someone else did. And they had on there not just one nut, but they used two nuts. One is a lock nut. So once again, I'm not sure this right. The bolt looked okay. It wasn't worn. So we'll get this nut starter back on there. I'll tighten it down in a few minutes. I'll get a wrench out and snug it up. And I'll snug a lock nut up against it there to hold it in place there. There we go. Okay, I'll get the wrench out in a second. Let's get the other ski in place. I got the bolt right here. And... You know, the same problem on this side. I won't be able to see what the heck I'm doing. If I turn it that way a bit. How's that look, James? Perfect. I would say. It was pretty perfect. There. Okay. Same thing on that side. Somebody had already... I would say Mickey Mouse is together, but it will work. I'll put on there a flat washer, a lock washer, and a set of two nuts. You know what? There. So, I'm going to do these bloody gloves. It's not even cold out today. So, I got to tighten those up there. I don't want that up all the way tight there. We could probably take a little bit more there. The ski is still got a pivot there. There. So you see? That there it still turns. Perfect. So what I'll do is I'll lock that down by using the two wrenches together. There. That way it's still loose. It'll still pivot. Look at that. Let's go to the other side. This is what I would call a pretty quick fix. Now, that goes on this way. Now, this old ratchet, look at that's a Herbrand. I remember buying this one here. Crazy, that was back in the 70s, eh? That's how old I am. I'm not just an old bugger. I'm a crusty old bugger. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I tighten that one down. And same trick again. We'll put the two nuts, to, two wrenches together and use the two to lock against each other. There. Okay. So we got that done there now. All I got to do now is pull this block out of here. I'll use my uh, there we go. My spare parts. I don't throw anything away. I'm a pack rat. There's that. That. Now, what I got to do now? Test it. I don't need gloves. I don't need wrenches. Key on. Choke out. Uh oh. You shouldn't have to choke all the way. I don't think I need that much. Okay. This cord. We need to look at this cord. It takes so slow to go back in there. Okay, we'll let that warm up for a second. I think I'm going to put gloves on. Okay, I got my gloves on. No helmet. Bad boy. Anyway, I'm going to take this for a little run, make sure that it's okay. So we'll let James try it, and he'll let us know how it is. Okay, figure out a drive. That little bit of weld in there, three spots, too much. That thing is stiff to steer now, but you know what? The snow is actually wet out today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get James to try it now and we'll see how it works. 